Welcome back to the House of Madness. When we last left off, um, we're on day three. And we're going to try talking to Philip. This is going to go well. Leave me alone, cat burglar. Have you seen the others? No. All I know is they're not here bothering me. Why don't you go join them? What are you doing? Not your business. Are those maps the house? <sighs> yes, they're maps. I'm gonna find a way out, and then I'm gonna get away from this madhouse once and for all. After that, if I ever see your smug pinstripe wearing face again, it'll be a million years too soon. Feeling any better this morning? I don't think so. No, oh, I'm just peaches. Now go away. Come on, Phil. None of us could have possibly killed AJ. You want to bet? You're over six foot. You could have done it easily. Maybe I could have, but I didn't. Proof. You know I can't. Well, then. You know, your attitude could be the death of us. It's certainly going to be the death of you if you don't get out of my face. I'll well, catch you later. <laughs> okay. Let's... Actually... I'll do that on the way back then. But we know there's a thing here. But I'm also not sure what we can do about it, really. We've got a stick. Cord, an article, and... What else? So nothing... What's this? I just found it out here like this. Do you know whose it is? Yeah. It's mine. Did you bring it in here last night or something? Of course not. It was in the front yard. There's no way into the front yard. Maybe someone's trying to help us. Maybe. I'll go and find the others and let them know about it. Sure. It's definitely my car. How I got to be here is something I certainly can't explain. Hmm. Great. My lockpicks are here. Must have fallen out of my pocket while I was getting out of the car. I had an emergency pick in the lining of my tie, like I usually do. Hmm. So we have a lockpick, do we? Use lockpicks on the door. There we go. Hey, progress! Ooh, and a pickaxe! Okay, so what's in the Sorry. It's the trilby if you can walk to one side. We wish to have a look in the cupboard. It's bare. Is that a saw on the that is. Okay, so we have a saw and we have a pickaxe. I think we might be doing some construction events. Now, I don't particularly want to do this, but let's get back down there. Oh. Okay. Simone. Oh, Trilby. How's the ghost hunt going? Someone's brought my car into the backyard. Yes, I noticed. Sorry. It's your car, is it? Did you bring it in here? Trilby, I have no idea where it came from or how. I'm just glad it's... See a bit more color about the place. Let's see. Does she know where the others are? Sorry, Trilby. I was in either of them since yesterday. Well, I've seen both of them now, so it's not so much of a problem. What are you doing? I'm investigating. Like we all should be doing. So what did you conclude? I found his wallet. He had ID for almost every government agency I can think of. Everything from MI6 to CID. Really? 
I think he must have been sent to investigate the house. Some kind of secret mission. So he never told us anything about himself. It would make sense, certainly. And I'd say this constitutes a pretty spectacular failure of that mission. Any clues on who did this? Must have been a pretty big fellow, I think. Armed of a large slashing weapon like a machete. And I found a piece of leather. Leather? Like Philip's jacket? No, it wasn't black. Brown leather, like from an old-fashioned blacksmith's apron. There was a torn off piece of it in AJ's hand. Let's see. How are you feeling? Fine, thank you. You're not too shaken about AJ? I don't have time to be shaken about AJ. Whoever did this might to him might still be around. Once we're safely out of harm's way, then I'll think about being shaken. Sensible. Alright, see you later. Sure. Let's go and examine the corpse. Now is not a good time to disturb the dead. Alright, I don't think there's anything we can do down here then. But there is something we definitely can do now, or definitely can try. Let's see what that extra room in the house is. So we can go upstairs and unlock the cool things up there. Yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to search around for... Um, see if I can unlock anything else in this house. Wouldn't do too much. So that one we know is open. It's these two. Use lockpicks on the door. I think it did it, but it still won't open. Must be a deadbolt on the other side or something. Okay. Let's use it on this one. There we go, unlocked. Okay, good work. Scratches. I don't think they were made by human fingernails. Wardrobe? There is a book. Let's take it. Ah, uh, not again. Empty. Empty. I'm not sure I feel right sleeping in a dead man's bed. Okay, then let's look at... Diary. Diary of Sir Roderick, Roderick Defoe. In so early courtship has she been so giddy with joy. It softened my heart to see a smile, and she smiles often. I'm wondering why I didn't retire sooner. August 12th, 1805. I'm now having the opportunity to write this. This has been a most hectic day. The wedding went without a hitch, and the house was ready for us to move in as soon as the ceremony was over. Linda insisted on consummating our marriage immediately. I am sure, dear diary, this house can expect to hear about the laughter of children before 1806 is out. February 1806. Romantic day for our announcements. The physician has just left, confirming that Belinda is with child. A child we can expect to be born in June. We have already decided to name the child Matthew if a boy, and or Jane if a girl. Belinda is dead. I'll never forget her face. Ash grey, not with pain. The child is healthy. Would that it had never come about and spared me this fresh hell. Matthew showed me the painting on the grounds that he created. I worry about the boy. Why can he have healthier interests like soldiering? Painting was fair, I suppose, but I would prefer my child to be less of a weakling. The anniversary of a night I unleashed a horror. A horror which I, tonight, shall remove from this world. May God forgive. Last entry. Oh dear. Well, there's one place we should really check. I'm not sure I want to. 
Nope. I think we're okay there. So that just leaves these two rooms. There we go. I just want to talk to Jim. Yes? Uh, how's it going? Shiny door comes in. Thanks. What are you doing? I was looking for stuff on the house. Why? Don't know. Yes, you do, Jim. Why? Because I want to help. But I'm not sure what I can do. You want to tag along with me? Sure. I promise not to get in the way. Okay. So he's now tagging along with us for some reason. Well, I suppose there's one last thing we can try. And that is now that we have a suitable tool. Just use pickaxe on the wall. Knock knock. Stand back, Jim. I can see stairs through here. They must have blocked off centuries ago. Chains. Uh, it's a trophy. Sorry, Mr. Ruby, I don't like the feel of this place. I'm with you in the library. Quite firmly attached to the wall. Shades. Those manacles? The house is really used for. I think we know what it was used for now. somewhere with Jim, apparently. But evidently not to there. Oh, Philip. Leave me alone, cat burglar. No, that's not gonna help. this twice, so what I meant to do. Everything wants to do with it. Let's head up. Jim? Uh, what do you think we should do next? I think we should be doing as much research in the house as we can. Tag along with me? Sure. Cross up getting the way. Alright, so where do we need to go with the ship? Ah. Okay. Nope. Eventually we navigate the stairs. Alright. So it's this way. States was found dead this morning in his office. Mr. Cheesum was found to have hanged himself, and a ruling of suicide is already declared. As a 
ways in a recent string of deaths and this disappearance is connected to the mysterious Defoe Manor. The string which began the murder-suicide of Sir Clarence Defoe and his young wife and has more recently seen the disappearance of BBC reporter Simone Taylor. Police were hoping to acquire the key to the phone matter in order to investigate the location of the key was known only to by Mr. Cheesum himself. Numerous television stars have already come forward to pay tribute to Miss Taylor. It is increasingly apparent that this appeared. Someone tells me there wouldn't be so much coverage if there wasn't a celebrity involved. Yeah, probably right. So we know he's a painter. Landscape, Matthew the Post, circa 1818. Alright, I've got something that might be relevant. That doesn't work. Hmm. What have we not done? Parasites, Roderick Defoe. Place we can actually send him. No, it's not a place I particularly want to send him. If this doesn't work, I'm going to have to go off screen and see if I can work out what I need to do. So let's try putting him in a place we're fairly sure he's going to die. but that's what we're going to try to do. I will see if I can find out what I'm missing next time. So, until then then.